This is Samsung Galaxy S23 and today I would like to lead you through the process of setting up parental controls on this device. So to begin with, let me quickly launch settings. Onwards, you'll need to enter the Google category over here. Make sure that there are no accounts that are currently linked to your device. Otherwise, if you have any, you gotta remove them by tapping over here, going into manage accounts on this device option, and open each individual Google account you have added and remove it like that. Once there is not a single Google account linked, you can uh, go ahead and proceed with the, or should I even say start the actual setup procedure at the same Google category of settings, tap the parental controls, get started, child or teenager, next, In here we'll wait for a little bit, onwards tap at the add or create account for your child option. If, you're, if you already have an, the I mean, Gmail account for your child, just sign in. If not, sign up for a brand new one. So I happen to have one on my hands, ready to be used. So I'll enter the email address, then the password as well. After that, tap at the blue next button. Next, I agree. Once signed or locked into the Google account, we will need to well, select it from this list. Then uh, we will also need to enter the credentials for the parent's Google account or the well, Gmail account that you will use for supervising the child's activity. So the drill is pretty much the same. Enter email address, enter password. At the about supervision following page that you'll get, scroll it all the way down and enter the child's Google account password once again. Tap at the agree button, then allow and wait for the two accounts to get linked. Then click next, more, 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 next. Then next again. At the following manage parental controls page, you have two paths you can take, so you can either if the device that is written in the bold font over here is the one that you'll use as a parent or a supervisor, just tap at the blue install family link button and the needed app will get automatically installed on your phone. If not, just tap at the skip option, skip and do the aforementioned process manually. So uh, pretty much at this point, all the preparations at the child's end at least were successfully finished. Now as the parent or supervisor once again take your device this time, sign into the Google account that we have earlier identified as the parent's Google account. So I'm going to do that right now real quick. So as you can see, I've signed into the SAIT Google account. After that, open the Google Play Store, search for family link application, then install it. After, upon, upon installation, you can just go ahead and launch the app. In here at the sign in page, make sure to log in with the, uh, well, correct Google account. That's the one that 
we have earlier identified as supervisors or the parents Google account. And in here you'll be able to see your child's device, set daily uh, usage limits, set the downtime routine, change and enforce app limits so you can disable some apps or respectively enable them, uh, set the app usage timeframes or limits, monitor the app activity as well, then apply content restrictions, configure account settings, manage devices, monitor your child's location, and see the child's device usage highlights already. So that would be it as far as setting up parental controls go goes. We highly appreciate your attention. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.